And the reason why God made the female is so that the male could release the seed for new bodies. So that more man, spirit being, could come in dirt houses. That's why two males don't work for God. It doesn't work out too well for God. It can't produce more bodies. That's why two females don't work for God. It doesn't, that's why he calls it an abomination. It, it disrupts his program for multiplication of rulers. You see, a woman is an incubator, complete incubator. A whole being is an incubator. The, the female is. Everything that you give a woman, she incubates. To incubate means to give life, to multiply, and to give something back. Incubators never keep anything. Babies don't live in incubators. They are there to develop, to multiply the cells, to have full maturity. You give it back to the mother. So whatever you give a woman, you're going to get it back multiplied. This is important, men. And by the way, a woman is an incubator. That means she's not the source of anything. Whatever you're getting from her is what you are giving her. She just multiplied and giving it back to you. So if you give her a house, she'll give you a home. If you give her groceries, she'll give you a meal. If you give her a sperm, she'll give you a baby. Give a woman a sentence, she'll give you a paragraph. Come on, man, talk to me. So here's the secret to marriage. If you don't like what you are getting from her, change what you are giving to her. Now clap in Jesus' name. Come on, shout, somebody. A woman is 100% receiver. Check a woman out. She can only receive. And men, males, are 100% givers. Check. Nowhere to receive. That's an exit. So, you know, that's not a receiver. <laughs> it's illegal to enter an exit. Clap anyhow, right where you're sitting. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when God made the male and female, God said, this is good. Now multiply, he says. Why? I want to fill the earth with kings and rulers.